This is a picture taken after a 23 hour long operation. The surgeon, Dr. Rilega, had just completed the first ever successful heart transplant in Poland. And you can actually see the assistant passed out in the back. It has to be one of my favorite photos in the internet, but it got me thinking, how do heart transplants even work? So your heart pumps blood to your lungs where it collects oxygen from the air we breathe. And then the oxygenated blood returns to your heart where it's pumped all around the body. So when a doctor says someone's heart is failing, it means it's struggling to pump blood efficiently. And in severe cases, patients may need a heart transplant. Usually a healthy heart is donated from a brain dead individual whose heart is still beating, but their brain has stopped working. And once removed, the heart must be transplanted within four hours, otherwise it will die. So it's a really small window that you're working in. The patient receiving the heart is connected to a heart and lung machine, which artificially pumps blood and oxygen around the body while the failing heart is disconnected and removed. The surgeon will then cut out the diseased heart and carefully sew in the healthy heart into its place. This is an incredibly precise procedure where every blood vessel and artery must be carefully attached. Each year, more than 5,000 heart transplants are performed and around 70% of people survive up to five years while 20% make it past 20 years. And the patient in this procedure actually survived for 30 years, outliving the surgeon, Dr. Rilika himself. And the reason why I love this photo so much is because I think it's a testament to remarkable humans leaving behind incredible legacy Proving the impossible is just something no one has done yet. Follow for more medical explainers like these.